Hi, once again, welcome back to TTE by Sina J on Charismatic View with Rima Quick, episode 2. Today, we are on the second episode, and I'm going to talk about a scripture that many people misuse, abuse, and take out of context. And today, and in our last week, I'll be taking two of um, common scriptures that people misuse and use anyhow. And today, we are going to talk on Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, where the Bible says that all things are possible with God or with God all things are possible it is one of the scriptures that many people use to fit into their system it is a scripture that many people use to um, tolerate certain things in their lives it is a scripture that many people use to support the wicked that they do but there is a context behind this scripture. Number one, before we go into the context, when it is written that with God all things are possible, the first thing you have to know is that it is something that must be in the will of God. With God all things are possible when His will is being upheld. With God, all things are possible but not all things are tolerated we must understand and never forget the fact that we are serving a god of principles and our god is a just god but he is a god that also don't tolerate certain things you can't use with god all things are possible to rape someone to say that God has given me the power and um, the lady wanted to do it, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do it. God doesn't tolerate something like that. I'm going there. With God, all things are possible. You cannot use it to cheat on your wife or someone that you're courting with. To say that God has given you options. So uh, with him, everything is possible if it is not his will, he will not let me do something like that. God doesn't tolerate such things. With God, all things are possible. You cannot use it to lie. If someone is asking you for a right answer, if someone is asking you to be truthful with them, you can't lie and say that, hmm, but after all, with God, all things are possible. So it is not something bad. It is bad. It is bad because Satan is the father of all lies. We are people of truthfulness. And these are the things that need to be upheld. That's why I said in the beginning that all things are possible with God when the things that we are referring to are glorifying his name, are in his will, and are in his ways. Hi. May I have your attention real quick? We are not done yet. But are you enjoying this episode of TTE Teaching Talks and Encouragements with Sina J? Then let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel for more quality entertainment. Kindly follow us on all social media platforms for more content. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. So let's go to the scripture of Matthew chapter 19, verse 26. But we will be reading from the verse 23 so that we understand the background of this statement that with god all things are possible and then we will go into the context and you will know what this scripture really means matthew chapter 19 verse 23 to 26 and again i'll be reading from the new king james version then jesus said to his disciples assuredly i say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. 24. And again I say to you, 
it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, it is talking about the disciples of Jesus. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men, this is impossible, but with God, <laughs> but with God, all things are possible. My father would say, Can I preach like I feel it? Um, what is behind this with God, all things are possible? Is that the disciples asked Jesus that who then can make it to the kingdom of heaven? So the context of this scripture is that when Jesus said it's easier for a camel to go through a needle than a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven, the disciples were looking at the thing from a perspective of impossibility. But we are serving a God of all possibilities. Jesus then said, with him, all things are possible. Meaning that, if you are a sinner, if you are someone who is swimming in sin, and you are looking for an escape, and you think that there is no help, there is no redemption, this message is for you, that with God, all things are possible. If you have been in a situation in life where you think God has forsaken you because you disappointed him with something. The Bible says that if you confess to him, he is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's the application where you use with God, all things are possible. When everything is against you and you think that you have to throw the towel and live your life anyhow and then you come back to your senses and your minds and say no whatever I go through I'm a child of God and you want to come back to Christ that's where we say with God all things are possible many people will use the story of Cain and Abel and say that you know Cain killed his own brother so killing is biblical Killing is biblical, so you can just take a knife and kill people anyhow. No. One thing my father taught me is you use scripture to interpret scripture. You use scripture to interpret scripture. When it comes to the gospel, for example, John chapter 18, you see that when Jesus was arrested by the soldiers, one of his disciples called Simon Peter, he took a knife and struck the ears of one of the soldiers. Uh, uh, the same knife was used to strike someone's ear. Immediately, you see Jesus saying that the people in Chile will say, Hey, then I am. The guns would say, Mini Fiobo, where? The Germans will say, Smasada, Slow It's okay. In England, they will say, are you alright fam? This was what Jesus was saying to Simon Peter, that what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So you see that in this case, when it comes to knife and killing someone, Jesus is against it. So using scripture to understand scripture or to interpret scripture, you will come to the knowledge about things that God loves and things that he forbids. So whenever we are interpreting scripture, let us use scripture to interpret scripture. So as I have explained this in context, I am bringing you a message of hope today that whatever life you took that didn't glorify God, whatever direction you went to and you think that it is over, it is for by where we there is a redeemer 
called Jesus Christ. If you hold on to him and you make up your mind that you want to come back to him, he is waiting for you to accept you as his child. As a matter of fact, he never stopped loving you. We rather turn from him. But if you just want to come back to him, just say this simple prayer after me. That Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I went away from you. But I believe my heart. And I confess with my mouth that without you, I am nothing. Accept me as your child. I rededicate my life to you. Lord, as I come to you, I am asking for forgiveness. Cleanse me with your precious blood. Purify me. I know that with you in my life, all things are possible. In Jesus' name, Amen. You are part of this great family. You are loved by our Savior. And you are redeemed. Hold on to Him. And always remember that whenever we take Scripture in its observation, we must have the right application. This is Dynamo Junior. The Lord bless you. Thank you for watching once again. It is always a pleasure to come your way. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this wonderful channel. And see you next week on the last episode. Shalom.